Hello and welcome to Kind of Keto. I'm Donna and today we are going to head out to Sam's Club and see what we can find. Uh, not a big haul, I think, just to check on some staples for the house, for the keto household. If you like grocery hauls and cooking videos and encouragement type of videos and budgeting tips, consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a like so more people can see it. Here's something I haven't tried before. Prime rib steak sliders. 20% fat, $4.98 a pound, and you get 3, 6, 9, 18 little sliders. So 18 of them for less than $12 average, you know. So here's $11.88, $11.95, so about $12. Ooh, that's different. I really might get that. And, you know, we love to pick up avocados. So these are, are the five packs and decent sized avocados, too. Not the little mini ones. And that's $4.48 for five counts. Well, here's a new item. I haven't seen this. See, limited time offering Julian's Keto Waffle Breakfast Sandwiches. Uh, it says 3 grams net carbs, or we'll check the back. For convenience sake, cage-free eggs, antibiotic-free chicken, blah, blah, blah. Um, I kind of prefer to make my own. But let's see. So, for one whole sandwich, 240 calories, not bad at all. Uh, 6 minus 3, 3 uh, net carbs, which is correct. Yeah, a lot of ingredients, but uh, a little stevia leaf in there, cage-free eggs, coconut flour, I don't see any wheat flour, so it's soluble corn fiber. So, you know, it depends on the ingredients for you, but it is a, looks like a definitely a nice option. Okay, there are two kinds of salmon they have here. Here is wild Pacific pink salmon, and that is two pounds. And it is wild caught for $13.98, $6.99 a pound. Yeah, that's decent. Let's go check the other one. All right, here's a member's mark one. Uh, these are individually, so is the other one, but uh, this is individually frozen, uh, you know, serving, so easy to take two, two, three, four out, uh, whatever you need, not have to cut it all up. It's boneless, skinless. And sometimes skin can be a pain in the butt, sometimes it's fine. But this is two and a half pounds. For twenty four ninety eight, two and a half pounds, uh, ten dollars per pound. Okay, here in the butter section, um, I like my Kerrygold, but this is salted, and I usually get unsalted, so I haven't gotten butter here before. But I am seeing I, I have gotten Challenge butter before over at my regular grocery store, and this is unsalted Challenge butter. It's a brick, you know, it's not sticks, but for one pound, it's three sixty eight. It does have the markings that you can uh, cut it up. That's really a decent price for a whole pound. So that is that's a thought. Three sixty-eight. Heavy whipping cream has been kind of sometimes I can't even find it. So this is your regular uh, quart, thirty-two ounces for four seventy-eight. My husband said sometimes in our store if he's going to go to pick something up, it's over seven dollars which is ridiculous i usually get it aldi but this is a good price here and always going to be picking up eggs here i did just get some recently but uh these are the pasture raised it's it's members mark brand but it's pasture raised and it's american humane certified and for 18 eggs 648 sometimes you can pay for for the vital farms that i usually get pasture raised eggs uh, it could be almost eight dollars for twelve, which I don't pay. I wait for sales. But six forty-eight for eighteen is quite a decent price. It must be a decent price because it limit you have to limit two per member. That is such a good price for good good quality eggs. Finally, convinced my husband to pick up this rice cauliflower. It is four separate bags, and they're steamable. Just you know, plain. You got to put your own seasoning in. But your rice cauliflower six thirty-eight. For 48 ounces, it's four steam in bag rice cauliflower. So that is great to have in your freezer. I absolutely love that they are carrying this Rao's, Rao's, however you say it, 
uh, marinara sauce. It's the lowest sugar or no sugar and good flavorful sauce. Even my husband likes it. And it's two 22 ounce jars right now for $7.98, normally $9.98. So we're going to pick up a little bit extra. We don't do a lot, a lot of marinara, but even on the pizzas or over some palmini noodles or making chili, plenty of uses and they're jars, so they're going to last a while. Hmm, I'm not sure if I've seen this before. It's a keto nut granola, supposedly two grams net carbs. New trail, I've heard of that company. And for one big 22 ounce bag, it's $14.28, which I think that sounds about right. I think smaller bags are seven or so. Uh, let's see what we got though. Uh, a third cup, that sounds about average. Third or quarter cup. Let's put over a little plain yogurt. And nine grand, nine, okay. Nine minus three, six, minus four, two. Okay, so they did that right. Very good ingredients, monk fruits. Yeah, this is really good ingredients. So that might be something. I have enough at home, so I don't need it right now. Something to consider for next time. Don't need any parm crisps right now. I prefer the smaller bag sometimes for portion control. But we've got two flavors here. Uh, it's their brand, parm crisps. They've got a super seeds and cheese. And just uh, your straight up parmesan one. 9.5 ounce bag, 10 bucks. Let's look at the back. Actually, that looks really good. Some of these parm crisps you do have to be watchful for because I do believe I've seen maltodextrin on some of the packages. So this one has just got your Parmesan cheese. That's it. So that's awesome. My definite pantry staple or freezer or refrigerator, depending if it's open, <laughs> is the almond flour. And it's finely sifted, blanched, it's the Blue Diamond, which is a great brand, and it is a three pound bag right now for $13.44. So $4.48 a pound, and it is, oh, I keep forgetting, over $5 for sure. I think $5.67 at Walmart for one pound. And here we go, the big tub o fried pork rinds. It's a huge tub, but if you grind it up for some pork panko, uh, it makes it excellent breading and uh, you know they're light and fluffy so when you grind them up it, you, you could use half this tub and just do one container so it can get used really quickly or as a side that we like it mostly for the pork panko and 16 ounce tub is 638 and there is just fried pork skins and salt they have other flavors here but when you start going into the flavors Then you get dextrose, MSG, sugar. So it's really best to stick with with the uh, just the plain, or uh, if you see a better brand, maybe not as cheap. I said I would do a comparison of the different flavored pork rinds. This is what I was talking about. This is a really good brand, the 4505, and this is my favorite flavor, jalapeno cheddar. But there is no maltodextrin in there. Okay, uh, so it says this pork skins, jalapeno powder, there's a little organic sugar in there, but the good thing about this brand is fried and rendered pork fat, so it's not, you know, the canola oil, soybean oil, the cheaper ones um, do do that, and zero carbs, and it's such a great flavor. But yeah, this is the one flavored company that is better. Ooh, I noticed this the other day. I came in to check the price of a printer. I may be getting a new printer. And it is Peppermint Mocha Creamer. And it is from Vital Proteins, which I really like that uh, company. Seven ounces. Now, Christmas time, I was looking, I was hoping I use a Perfect Keto Creamer, uh, Collagen Creamer. And I was really hoping they had a Peppermint Mocha. And now there is. So, right now, only $3.00 because of the four dollar savings and, and the expiration date is not till a year and a half from now 8 24 24 so i'm going to pick up a container and i will be ready for next year and not try to have to find it again and for a bigger price 
And here's my regular Vital Proteins unflavored collagen that I do use. And it is a good price. It's $4 off right now, but it's normally $31. Now it's $27.98. And it's for the big tub. This is 24 ounces, $27.98. I know 10 ounces at Walmart is about $25. So this is, is almost getting half for free. And if your kids or your spouse are giving you a headache, here's a buttload of ibuprofen. <laughs> so here's two 600 count bottles for 1318 and you'll be covered at least for a month or two. Oh, here's something I didn't think to look for. Secret deodorant, a five pack. And each one, you have to look at the multi-pack. Sometimes they're smaller am amounts than you would get in the store, so you have to compare sizes as well but this as uh, each one is 2.1 ounces I, which i believe is the uh, normal size and five of those and i love powder fresh said ah nine forty eight. i swear i got one for like three something i don't know i'll have to look but uh 948 that sounds like it's a really good deal and just got home with what we got over at Sam's Club. Uh, sometimes I send my husband, sometimes I go by myself. And today we went together. Um, and this is what we came home with. We got our big ass tub of the pork rinds, which I'm going to get the food processor out right now and just uh, get some ready for that. We want to do like a little chicken dish tomorrow with the pork crumbs. Speaking of chicken, we've got our chicken breasts there, boneless, skinless. And let's see, we got the, our little sliders. I make small little hamburger buns, which uh, I guess I can leave a link to. And I might just use that or just put it on a plate. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. But eleven sixty. I mean, how many meals of that? Like 18 for eleven sixty. Amazing. Okay, this I didn't even realize that my husband got. Um, the albacore tuna, wild caught, solid white, in water. And that came to... Twelve ninety eight for eight five ounce cans. Okay, and I said for next year I got my little collagen creamer for three bucks. We got our four bags of rice cauliflower. We want to just. I, I asked him when we saw this salmon whether he wanted me to put this back, and he said, "Nah, we'll just keep it. We've got plenty." So we got lots of salmon, and this one's the wild caught version. And we stocked up on our rouse, even though we don't do a lot of pasta sauce. Uh, we make chili with the, with the sauce. We do, of course, our, our little chaffle pizzas and that kind of thing. And it's going to last, so we've got two of those containers. And lastly, almond flour. I love having almond flour on hand, and I did a lot of baking recently, so I want to make sure I always have plenty on hand. That does it. And speaking of pork rind panko, here's pork rind panko 101. You got yourself a food processor. You got yourself a big old thing of pork rinds. Obviously, you don't have to get this big tub. You can get all the little ones, especially ones that, uh, if you wanted some with flavors, like the jalapeno. That would make a nice little, little different thing there, different flavor for a coating. Alrighty. Put the lid on. Plug in. <laughs> and pulse. And voila. You have pork rind panko. So if you think that tub is just so huge, because it is a huge tub, but I used that much of this tub to get this much of the pork rind. So I did about three passes on the uh, food processor, and that got me, I mean, a good size for sure. I didn't weigh it first, but so it's, it makes a good amount, and I could do that twice. So that is going to last me for a while. But if you don't have a food processor, you can just old school it. Ziploc bag, also found at Sam's Club, and an old-fashioned rolling pin. Put a bunch of pork rinds in your bag, Take out your frustrations 
on your about your kids and your husband out on the bag and you just roll the bag and crunch it up and then you already have a, a place to store it if you like. Well I hope you like this video. Leave me a comment. Give me any suggestions of things that are at your Sam's Club if they're different. And uh, you know, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.